Um, and so I'm like, I'm not gonna do that. Let me try the Florida water. Cause somebody was like, oh, it's a water down. It's it's the same thing as sage. It's a cleansing, but it's just. It's different. So I'm like, oh, I didn't read nothing about you can open no portals to evil things with that. So I'm like, okay, cool. I'm good. I get the Florida water. I'm a blessed in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ. I'm going to do Florida water for me and cleansing these chakras. I'm going to blend Jesus and chakras, okay? <laughs> and so... guys it is tree again i'm back um i wanted to talk about me getting rid of my spiritual things so y'all i'm gonna insert a picture next to me i had florida water i had healing stones i had an anthemist stone i think that's what it's called the black one i had an energy stone that hung up beside my bed. I was all about meditation and meditating to align my chakras. I studied chakras. Um, I was um, all about astrology and that's something that I was doing, was it 2020? Um, and summer 2019 i think i was learning it and you know astrology i've always been the one that um talk about oh what's your sign the first thing or when was you born or whatever and so i have distanced myself from that um and i'm gonna tell y'all a little bit about it so y'all know i experienced a lot of loss um and i needed I had a lot of anxiety at one point, not too long ago. Um, super, super bad anxiety. Actually, this is the first year, well, the first second half. The second half of this year, this is the first time I have been able to not feel anxiety and that racing heart feeling. And so, uh, without doing the meditation for the chakras and stuff. Um, and, you know, I've been let that go, but, you know, I'm digressing and getting ahead of myself at the same time. I picked up studying of the chakras and healing, earth healing and um, all of that stuff. And not to say that it's bad for people to do it, it's something that I distanced myself from. So I'm never gonna down what other people do on this channel. I'm just gonna talk about what I've done and what I've changed and hopefully I have people that can relate or talk about it in the comments below, but I'm never going to down anybody. I am all about accepting people for who they are at this point <laughs> in my life. So I was doing that. I also, I will post it on my Instagram. I don't know if the videos are still on there. I'm going to clean it once I get back on there fully. Um, but. I post the videos about chakras and learning the chakras and the ground chakras, your crown chakra, your throat chakra, all of that, um, and meditating to cleanse those chakras um, and to calm myself down, honestly. Originally, it was for my anxiety because I had panic attacks. I would be literally just sitting still sometimes and my heart would be throbbing out my chest and I'd be like in tears, not knowing why I'm in tears. So I'm like, okay, let me meditate. Um, I've been seeing a lot of this on my YouTube, popping up on my, on my like, you know, my feed. Let me, let me, let me put my hands in it. And I was like, doing a meditation i start with the i started with the mindfulness meditation that's on um android phones and sometimes iphones and i was like let me try to do this with the chakras because i be seeing those spiritual people saying that this calms them down um and so i started doing it uh, honestly i was forcing myself to do it I, did, I felt no connection to it but i also was still trying to learn it because i'm like eventually if i become all knowledgeable about it i'm gonna be the most calm hippie type person you see out there that's my vision for myself like just real lisa bonage <laughs> if you must um i don't know her religion or uh, whatever she does i just just her aura just looking at her she looks like a tree hugger but um so i'm like yeah let me learn these things i'm gonna write down these things i got so tied up in angel numbers that y'all 
I, my mind was gone. I was like making myself see angel numbers. And I'm like, okay, I'm doing the right thing at the right time. Everything is aligning up and my chakras are good. My throat chakra is good. Let me get my crown chakra clear. Maybe that'll cut down on my anxiety. And honestly, y'all, I, as quick as I picked it up, I dropped it. But in the process, I learned about Florida water. So I wanted to do the, the sage but I read up on stage and I was like, they said, if you don't do it in the right spirit or whatever the case may be, you can open up portals to evil things. And I'm like, oh, no, nah, baby, I don't want to. I don't want to open up no portals to nothing because <laughs> I'm scary. And I'll be, I, I will move out of this place and move back in with my mom. You know? So I ain't trying to do all that. And I don't want stuff to follow me. Um, and so I'm like, I'm not going to do that. Let me try the Florida water. Because somebody was like, oh, it's a watered down. It's it's the same thing as sage. It's a cleansing. But it's just, it's different. So I'm like, oh, I didn't read nothing about it. You can open up portals to evil things with that. So I'm like, okay, cool. I'm good. I get the Florida water. I'm a blessed in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ. I'm going to do Florida water for me and cleansing these chakras. I'm going to blend Jesus and chakras, okay? <laughs> and so... And so I did that, blessed the water, blessed the Florida water, um, and was using it on myself, on um, everything around me, my home, all of that. And I bought an amethyst, I think that's, I don't know what it's called, the black stone um, that I wore around my neck. I wore it with another necklace, I think. And then I eventually started wearing it with the cross <laughs> on my neck. And um, and I also had like an energy stone that I hold on, y'all. Recording on my phone, some popped up, but um, I wore with the energy stone. No, I didn't. I put the energy stone on my bed, and I'm like, ooh, it worked. I woke up and was calm and peaceful, and I'm all good. And so I'm like, let me go with this. I honestly started wearing it. It was like a matter of habit, so I didn't even realize it was always on my neck and the stone was always on my bed. I let I, I actually stopped doing the Florida water as soon as I recorded a video and put it on Instagram about Florida water and talking about chakras. Quickly as I as quick as I picked it up, goes back to what I was already saying, I had dropped it. Um and so and it didn't stick. So, um Fast forward to this process of me um, learning love. That's the process that I'm in. It's not even more so like, it's not a, the, reli the religious side of it. It's me learning how God loves me and learning how to love myself. It started with learning, trying to learn what am I looking for in life? What am I looking for? And I learned that it was love, and I already have love within me, and God gives me love every single day. So that's a story for another video. If y'all want to know, comment below. I will tell y'all about that process, but um, this process that I'm in even more. But um, as I was doing that, the word kept popping out to me that you, your love can be dual. Either you love one thing and you hate the other. So it's like, how can you love yourself and then try to learn all, throw yourself all into learning these chakras, these, um, these, um, what's it called? Zodiac signs. And how can you still have these things in your household when you open in the Bible at the same time? Either you're going to love the word or you're going to love the world way of being woke and, um, spiritual and connected to the earth and the universe. I want to be connected to God. So I'm like, okay, I got to throw this stuff away. Um, and hence the picture that I'm going to link. Um, I threw all of it away. Um, I threw it little by little. I'm like, okay, I got Florida water. I got the stone. I got the healing stone. I have, um, what else did I throw away? I threw those three away. And then I'm like, oh, shoot, I got the stones around my sink that I put, what was, I was like, what was your intention when you put them stones up around your sink? And the intentions was, it's healing stones and it's gonna bring good energy. And I was like, yep, get rid of it. <laughs> and I'm like, I've had those stones for so many years and I only, as of late, when I was doing that kind of studying and healing myself, 
um, put it around my safe for healing. So it originally was not for healing them. I tried to make it. I tried to make that the excuse to keep them. And I'm like, nope. The ex when you put it around the sink, your intention was healing stones. So God is the ultimate healer. Can't have dual loves at the same time. The stones can't heal you, and God can heal you at the same time. You gotta love one and hate the other. And I decided on God, and I threw all the stones away um, with the no connect to them. Um, I do want to rewind and say I started looking at um, readings on YouTube. Originally, it was a fun thing to do. Not even a fun thing. It was nothing in my mind because I always thought like you're not supposed to seek mediums that's just my thought process not putting that on nobody else this is me me my life how i live my life how my thought process is and so i was like no no i'm not doing that and then eventually i worked my way into um watching those things um with someone and then i started watching them on my own and i noticed i started watching them even more and more and more look, re looking for readings on what can relate to me because i was like shocked one time i'm like dang this thing is spot on and i had to pull myself out of doing that if y'all want to hear more about that that's for another um video but i got into listening to that and i was just drawn into it and i'm like oh no i'm praying getting in my closet praying and that's hanging on my head like but you looked at this so you praying and you trusted and having faith yes my phone alarm went off but i was like so you praying and you call yourself trusting and having faith in god but then you going back to the reading to see what you can know about what's what's to come and that don't match like Go back to a time when you were praying and completely dependent on God and believing him for what you were praying for. And you had no, no energy towards wanting to even know about the future from a psychic media, a car reader on, on YouTube. It was on YouTube. I didn't go personally. Uh, eventually, it probably would have worked its way into that um, because I started following one on a couple on Instagram, which I deleted immediately. Um, but... Yeah, y'all, I was all into looking at stuff that I I feel I shouldn't have been looking into. And I had to make a choice on am I going to trust in what people say or what I know God is about and what he can do. And so I decided to drop all that stuff that, sorry, it's a glare in my glasses and I need to get a good thumbnail. <laughs> So, let me, mm, mm. anyway, the glare said there, um, I'm like, let me go and get rid of this stuff and try to hyper-focus on God because I know what he has done. And this was before I decided to try to do these. I know the camera is right here, but I keep looking at myself. I'm like, this is before I tried to do these. Um, other things what God has done and how he has spoken to me through people through angels I have angel stories on my channel um, he sent the word solid right there laid it in my lap gave me the discerning spirit and I know that he can do it now Anthony Brown is ringing in my head I love Anthony Brown group therapy gospel singer Anthony Brown his song says, if he did it before, he can do it again. Well, that's Ty Tribbett, but he was like, Anthony Brown has a song that says, if he did it before, he can do it again. And I refuse to believe, that's, that's not the song. That's not the, that's not the song, y'all. I'm getting ahead of myself trying to remember the lyrics now because now Ty Tribbett is in my head. If he did it before, he can do it again. If he did it before, he can do it again. One. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah y'all Anthony Brown um, lyrics is in my head if he did it before he'll do it again and all of his songs just relate they're relatable and it has everything to do with what I know God can do and he is not a respect of per persons um, if he does a transformation for other people, he can do it for me. And he's doing that transformation for me. I'm getting all off subject. Y'all can feel myself veering because this I'm easily distracted. It's a lot going on outside with the weather. Um, but yeah, I 
got rid of all of my stuff that had nothing to do with God. I can't love the world and well not I can't love one I can't love two things at one time. Either I love one and hate the other and I refuse to hate God. I have tried it my way too many times. I tried it the worldly way to to feel good in the flesh. I want to feel good from the inside out and I have been and I attribute that to focusing more on God and I'm still in my process. I'm not perfect. I do still tend to ask or think about Zodiac. Sometimes I be like, mm, I ain't going to think about it out of sight, out of mind. And then I'm like, let me Google this Zodiac. Let me Google what this means. Let me Google the compatibility. Let me go. And you know, God working on me with it. I told y'all I'm going to be transparent. Um, and then you two try and play tricks on me. I blocked all the tarot card readings, but one popped up on there the other day. And I was like, mm, we ain't finna go there. We ain't finna do that. Nope, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing that um, because all I need to know is all I need to know. And things that are not revealed to me right now are not revealed to me for a reason. So with that said, y'all, um, this is another video. Um, what do you guys want to know about my journey? What do you guys want to know more deep about from this conversation about the things that I've gotten rid of? And tell me if you can relate to what I've talked to you guys about. Um, I would love to hear from y'all in the comments. I hope y'all like my new setup, my new quality. I just tapped this mic so y'all probably heard a... <laughs> you probably heard a crunching sound. <laughs> I will see y'all back in another video. Love y'all. Love you a long time. Bye-bye.